Today in this video I would like to show how you can use a for loop to construct a matrix. The question that came in is that this MATLAB user has a vector 13689 and they want to copy it down each row and add one each time through. How can they make this? Well, of course you're going to start out by having your original vector like this and then you're going to loop and here's a key part we're going to loop from row 2 through row 5 like this for i equals 2 to 5 and then we're going to say a and the key here is pronunciation so what I mean by that is I like to spell out or speak out my code as I'm writing it. So I would say A, which row? Well, I want row I, and I want all the columns, and I want that to be matrix A, which row? Row I minus 1, and all the columns, and I'm going to add 1 to that. You can see why it's important that we're looping from row 2 all the way through row 5 because if we started at 1 we would have a 1 minus 1 which is 0 which doesn't make for a good index so that's why it's important that we start at 2 then we can put in here end if we evaluate this code look at a we can see that we got this working. Now some people would look at this code and say that we are not pre-allocating and so we're wasting some amount of time. And that is true. So uh, for small matrices like this it, it really doesn't have much of an effect. But if this was a much much larger matrix you would want to pre-allocate. And so you could say uh, B is equal to zeros and we want it to be how many rows? Well we want it to be five rows and it happens to be five columns and then you can see that this makes it a little bit more complicated We're going to have to have B here and then we're going to say B which rows? Well, we want row 1 and all the columns to be equal to A. So that's the kind of changes I would make to allow for the pre-allocation. In that way, MATLAB has B the correct size from the beginning and you're not doing that reallocation of memory each time through the loop. But again, for a very small matrix like this, that time savings is really not that big a deal and I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, I hope this helps you understand some of the concepts of pre-allocation and creating of a matrix in a for loop.